Donald Trump has made yet another ingenious decision. Shocker. His chief economics advisor says that the Trump administration will end subsidies for electric cars and renewable energy while, by the way, continuing to subsidize the fossil fuel industry to the tune of $20 billion. Do those priorities seem off to you? They should. 2018 has been an especially extreme year for hurricanes, including Hurricane Maria, the first Category 4 storm to hit Puerto Rico in 85 years and it hit just after another hurricane hit the island, back to back. Then we have wildfires which have ravaged California, which scientists say are undeniably linked to climate change. And just because the damage that is being caused can't be traced back to the direct actions of one person doesn't mean we can't lay the blame at the feet of climate deniers, especially climate deniers in power like the Republicans and Donald Trump. And not just blame for the damage, Blame for the blood. Blame for the death. Blame for the death in the past when 3,000 Puerto Ricans died and 85 Californians died. But also blame for the death in the future. Because according to the World Health Organization, between 2030 and 2050, climate change is expected to cause approximately 250,000 additional deaths per year from malnutrition, malaria, diarrhea, and heat stress. And part of why Trump and the Republicans don't seem to care about the human cost of climate change, well, at least not as much as oil and gas profits, has to do with the fact that climate change will disproportionately affect poor and minority people. Studies have shown that black and Hispanic children are more likely to develop asthma than their white peers, as are poor children, with research suggesting that high levels of smog and air pollution in communities of color being a factor. But Republican lawmakers are very rarely minorities, and they certainly are not poor, so why should they care? Well, some are starting to, but only because the Trump administration's own climate report showed that the American economy would take a massive hit. And yet, Trump still chooses not to believe it. He makes ignorant comments like this that seem straight out of SNL. The president denying that climate, climate change is made by people, saying, quote, one of the problems that a lot of people like myself, we have very high levels of intelligence, but we're not necessarily such believers. As to whether or not it's man-made and whether or not the effects that you're talking about are there, I don't see it. I have a gut and my gut tells me more sometimes than anybody else's brain can ever tell me. It's easy to dismiss Trump's ignorance and almost find some dark humor in it, but comments like that aren't just an embarrassment to the United States. They also have consequences, human consequences. Conservatives, climate change isn't just hurting the little birdies and the fishies, and it isn't just about tree huggers not wanting to see the red oaks fall. It's about human lives, and the effects of climate change are now beginning to snowball, no pun intended. And eventually, it will be about the property values for your waterfront beach house. And then maybe you'll do something about it. But for the thousands of people who have already died from the effects, it will be too late.